welcome to Bonita's Kitchen and thank you for joining us. Today I'm going to be making a delicious blueberry cinnamon bundt cake and these are made with my freshly picked blueberries that we just did a few uh, days ago but if you got frozen blueberries that would work just fine. So let's get started. So what we're going to be using here today is room temperature uh, butter or margarine and we're going to be using a half of a cup of that. We're also going to be using a third of a cup of white sugar or sugar of your choice and we're just going to cream that around first just to give it a nice little base. So that's all you need to do there. You can use a wooden spoon or you could use your electric blender. I'm going to be putting in one teaspoonful of vanilla extract and I'm just going to stir that around lightly. We're going to be using one egg. I like to put it into my dish first. So grab the spoon here and then check it, stir it around just a little and then pour it on into your mixture. So really all we're going to do is just mix this in lightly. I don't want to over mix the egg at first. So what we're going to do now is sift in our dry ingredients but before we do that I'm using evaporated milk here and you could use fresh milk and this is kind of the milk we use here in Newfoundland and Labrador for making our, our cakes and our puddings. I'm going to be using a three quarters of a cup of this. It's room temperature or you know if you could take your milk out of the fridge if you're using fresh just about half an hour before you make this cake. So that's all you need to do there. We're using two and a half cups of all-purpose white flour. I'm leaving about a quarter of a cup of flour there to toss my blueberries in. One, uh, two and a half teaspoonfuls of baking powder and a half a teaspoonful of sea salt. If you're using salted butter, you could uh, not put the salt in, but I'll leave that up to you. So just sift this on in. All right, so that's all you need to do there. That's just to get all of those dry ingredients put in together. So then we're gonna start stirring again. So you're gonna pour your evaporated milk all in. And if you need more, that's fine. And Again, if you want to use a milk of choice, that's fine as well. So anywhere from three quarters of a cup to one cup into this mixture. And then mix it on around. So again, mix all of those ingredients in. Now, if you're using a blender at this point, you can stop because what we're going to do now is fold in our fresh blueberries. These are fresh berries. I got Raymond to go with me to pick these because, well, I enjoy picking berries and he don't, but that's okay. <laughs> I won't hold that against him. I was going to say I love berries. <laughs> I'm only using a half a cup. I know you don't. I'm only using a half a cup on this recipe, but if you wanted to use a little bit more, that's fine, but you don't want to use too much because you can always add um, blueberries to the top. Coat it lightly with the rest of that flour. I'm just going to put these to the side because I don't want that to start eating them or my mouth to get blue. And then toss it on in to the mixture. And then so pretty much all we're going to do here now is fold these berries in because I don't want to break them and I don't want to over mix this dough. That's all you need to do there, just to put it all in through. Okay, so this is where the fun part comes when we're getting ready to bake it. I'm using a, bun, a silicone bun pan and I got it lightly greased with some butter on the inside and put into a baking pan so as I keep it sturdy. All I'm going to do here now is sprinkle a little bit of cinnamon in the bottom of the pan and I'm going to show you that. So after you've oiled your pan, just sprinkle just about maybe a half a teaspoonful or so in the bottom. So I got a tablespoonful all in total here and that'll do the swirls in between and the cinnamon down on the bottom, but I'll show you that. 
And what we're going to do now is scoop up our dough and put it into the pan. Now this dough don't run out. This dough has got a really nice firm texture. It just scoops out like this, almost like if you're making one of those delicious cobblers. It's got that same texture. And then you just evenly put all the dough around your bunt pan. After that, just smooth it out lightly, like this even on the sides. Now you're going to go back to your cinnamon. You're going to take little dollops and put in different areas because this is going to be like a little bit of a swirl in through the batter. And I'm just going to take the back of my spoon now and swirl it down through like this. And let that cinnamon go down through the batter and the blueberries. It's going to look something like that. So now again comes the fun part. Of course, all the parts is fun for me. And of course, Raymond waiting to have some. We are going to put this cake, of course, our blueberry cinnamon bundt cake into the oven on a 350 degree heat Fahrenheit for about 45 minutes to one hour. Depending on your oven, you can check it, just poke it, and if it comes out clean, you know it's done. I got one made here in advance. I'm gonna pop this one into the oven. I'm gonna bring that one out, and I'm gonna show you how I'm gonna dress it up to make it just ready for a nice cup of tea. So what I got here is one that I've done in advance, and it's absolutely delicious. It comes out nice and firm. It's got all those blueberries that's busted through there. I'm going to be serving it with a thick cream, and I've showed it on other videos. It's a sterilized cream, and then all you do is shake it. I was telling you about it's a shaking cream. If you don't have that access to these, you could use a whipped cream, and you just pull off on the lid like this. Now I'm going to show you my cake. So what I'm going to do is put a tiny little bit of the brown sugar in here. It's a little bit moist there today because we got it a little rainy out there. So what we're going to do, if you can do it, is spread over some of that brown sugar like this, if it's not moist. And then I'm going to, <laughs> see I'm telling you, Raymond's <laughs> into the blueberries. I'm going to I don't cut. like picking them, but I manage eating them. <laughs> Cut a nice piece here. As you can see, just look at the blueberries just bursting through in there. It's nice and soft. I'm gonna put this piece over there. We're gonna add some more cinnamon and we're gonna add some of that whipped cream. I guess I can't stop the brown sugar from being moist. I want a few of those fresh blueberries there as well. And I'm going to put a nice dollop of that cream over the top. Now, if you, those of you, again, don't know what this cream is, like you said, it's just a thick cream, or you can use a whipped cream, that's fine. So this is it, this is as good as it gets. So now, here comes another favorite part of mine, is when I get to taste it. Of course, I can't let this delicious uh, blueberry cinnamon cake go to waste and I want a little bit of that cream too. I know Raymond's gonna want some. You can pitch me over. <laughs> Not right now, you're gonna get oh, some okay. later. <laughs> mm, that is so delicious. I got cream over my fingers, on my mouth. Mm. Two thumbs up by Bonita's Kitchen. So if you're excited to make this cake today, don't forget the recipe is posted down under this video. Also the subscribe button if you haven't already done so. We also got over 250 plus videos there that you can enjoy on YouTube right here or on our website www.bonitaskitchen.com. I'm just going to put a little bit extra cinnamon over the top of my blueberry cinnamon bundt cake because you never know I might get somebody pop by and have a a cup of tea with me and some of this delicious cake. Also, if you want to, you can visit us on our Facebook page. We also share on there up and coming events. We share recipes that we're going to be posting and show you some pictures of things we do around our neighborhood, like picking berries and like you said, 
you you name it. And the viewers, can, viewers' pictures. Our viewers' pictures we post on there as well. Anytime you send us a picture of your baking or cooking, we do a uh, collage of pictures showing everybody so they can enjoy as well. And any time that you're stuck on a recipe, maybe you're making one of our bread recipes and you're just wondering, what should I do there? Send me an email and let's talk through those steps at bonitakitchen at gmail.com. Couldn't resist to take a couple of those blueberries. But before you go, don't forget, you can send me a message anytime on any of those links. And from our kitchen to yours, Thank you for joining us and you have a wonderful day. Join us by the sea, a journey in culinary. Join us by the sea, that's where the meat I will be. We've got Telton's Bankers, Frozies too, soups and stews to name a few. Moose, beef, Irish pea, huh, that's odd. Beer, bed, cod. Feed it, jigs, bread's all made. Blueberry, duff, and apple bake. Are you ready for this jelly? Don't forget pork bank belly. Join us by the sea. A journey in culinary. Always an open door. The need is kitchen to yours. The need is kitchen to yours. The need is kitchen. Yours.